Here we are at the Highlands. Haven't been here in a while. Look at how green the grass is getting. Let's take a look at some of the ponds here in the Highlands. Here we are at the largest of the Highland ponds. There's the water tower in the background. I wonder what's in this pond. You hear the robins singing in the background. Morning doves. Beautiful pond on a beautiful day. I wish you were here with me. Here's a sign of spring. That's my first of the year for this one. It's called an Eastern Phoebe. It's a wonderful flycatcher. Eats a lot of insects. I don't know if you could see it when it's up there, but it likes to wag its tail when it's moving around. I'm hearing the call of a really cool woodpecker called a northern flicker. It's a beautiful woodpecker, fairly large. Looks like it's on that dead tree out here in the highlands. I see a lot of holes in that tree. When a tree dies, it's still very useful. Mushrooms will decompose it, get energy from its tissue. Woodpeckers, of course, will make nest holes in it. Whoa, check these out. Did you know that trees actually get flowers? These are actually uh, flower buds opening up into maple flowers. I see trout lilies down there too, aren't those? I'm looking for a flower. Hey, check this out. I'm looking for signs of spring. And I see these little buds of may apple right here. And I also found some wild animals out here on the trail. Look at it. Wild animals out here at Blandford. <laughs> you recognize those wild animals? Hey, humans are animals too, right? We're all animals. We're all part of nature. Look at that. And you're right. You are right. There's a trout lily right there. Awesome. Look at that flicker in the background. And there's the little buds coming up of those may apples. We'll check those next week to see if they're bigger. Oh, that flicker's really close, isn't it? We're well, looking for signs of springs, and look what I found. Look at that painted rock. I wonder who put that there. Cool. I'm going to leave it. That's very cool. Reminds me of spring. Here we are at the metal pond again. There's that Canada goose sitting on her nest. I wonder how long before the eggs hatch. There's a bird called a common grackle. It's in the blackbird family. Has a yellowish eye, long tail. Beautiful color. Common grapple. Cool. Very cool. Here we are, another vernal pond at Blanford. Wood frogs are louder this week than they were last week. I love to hear nature's music. It's like a symphony of sound. Wow, look at the color on this fungus. This uh, dead wood is being decomposed by 
some type of fungus that turns it this beautiful turquoise kind of color. Here we are again at Prunus, the black cherry tree, and what do I see here at the base of Prunus? I think my friend Penelope has put one of her awesome rocks here, help keep Prunus company. Look at that, that's a great one, Penelope. Nice job. Hey, this is fun finding these rocks. Thanks for doing that. And there's Prunus again. Doesn't seem to be a lot of change yet. But when I look carefully at the buds at the end of the twigs, at the end of these branches, I see they're swollen just a little bit more. I wonder when the leaves will pop out. We'll keep looking. It's fun to watch this tree going through its life cycle stages, watching it change. Hearing the wood frogs in the background. It's a beautiful, beautiful world. Hope you can get out and enjoy the great outdoors. If not, I hope you enjoy these nature videos. Stay curious, friends. Back to the bird feeder. What do you see down there? You see the blue jay? See the grackles? I'll get a little closer and see what birds are there. Our friend the black-capped chickadee is still around, eating seed out of the feeder. When I walked up, I saw two common grackles and a red-winged blackbird. There's another black-capped chickadee, so that's two. There's three. There's another one over there, so at least three black-capped chickadees. There's a blue jay. If you get to Blanford on a Wednesday or Thursday, look at the bird feeder and tell me what kind of birds you see. Let me know through Class Dojo. Look at those beautiful clouds. Have you looked at clouds before and wondered what they mean? What kind of clouds are these? We'll explore weather next time a little more. Start thinking about seasonal change and what, what's happening with the weather. You think the temperatures will get warmer or colder? What do you think will happen? What will happen when you see dark clouds like this? Can you tell what, what's going to happen in the weather by looking at clouds? Here's some of the shelters from Mr. Geary's class. They're still looking pretty good. They did nice work. Nice work, friends. Look at that one. Nice. Remember building these, fifth graders? Someone built a nice bridge over this muddy spot. You probably remember this spot in the trail by the stump circle. Look how some people built this bridge. That's great. Good engineering. There's the shelter right. It's lakefront property now. It wasn't when it was built, but <laughs> now we've had so much rain. And in the spring, this happens all the time where the, the field by the school floods. And we call this Lake Frost. <laughs> this flooded field is a great place for ducks to feed. See you later, Canada Goose. <laughs>